Hey, this is Digital by Computing. Today we're gonna to look at how to expand, how to extend, and how to add disks to a storage pool on a Dell EMC Unity SAN. All right, so we're gonna assume that you've already configured the storage device on the network, that it's available on the network, that it's got an IP address, it's available uh, via a host name. So we're gonna open up a web browser and connect into the backend storage device itself via the IP address. So here we are in the storage area on our Unity. So right in here is where we can configure the storage pools, the blocks, the file, and some, some VMware configuration settings as well. You see that I've already created a pool in the past. This is called pool underscore 01 with a size of six terabytes. And you'll show, you can see a percentage graph there of how much is used and how much is free. And we want to add additional drives and extend, expand this pool. All I really literally got to do is firstly, you've got to make sure that you've actually got disks. You need to make sure you've got sufficient disks to make up the amount of disks required to be able to add to the existing pool. So let's go ahead and select that pool and click on expand pool right here. Now, within here you'll see that the current pool is set as performance tier. Performance tier meaning that it's using SAS drives. Uh, you'll see that grayed out here is SAS flash and nearline SAS, so SAS flash are essentially your um, your SSDs, your flash disks. Nearline SAS are slower, generally SATA disks than uh, your SAS. So we have just got standard SAS across my entire SAN, and it's currently made up of five drives, which are totaling six terabytes. So tiers with available drives. So because I've got SAS only, my only tier available is performance. And you'll see that it's automatically detected that I've got seven unused disks that are SAS under the performance tier, totaling just over 11 terabytes. So I can right in here go and tick this and proceed. If you do not have any tiered disks available, if this is if this area is all grayed out, if you don't have an, an, a section in here to add more disks or expand, that means that you don't have the right amount of disks available on that SAN to be able to expand the pool. So you need to add appropriate disks into your SAN first, appropriately uh, scaled disks, so they need to be the same capacity, ideally, uh, as the SAN, that, as, as the disks that are made up of your pool currently. So we're gonna select this because we do have some disks available. Selecting my performance tier and clicking on next. And then within here, I can actually go and customize things further around the amount of storage that I want to add. Now in my case, as I said before, we don't have any more than five drives. Um, so the minimum that my pool allows me to add is five drives. So in my dropdown, I've only got really two options. Add five of seven drives, because seven was the amount that I had um, available, or add none. I can't add more than that because I don't have any more disks. If I had more disks, perhaps 10 drives, then I could add double the amount of disks to my pool and then expand it. So it's very important when you are scaling your uh, your pool, your sands, that you've got the right amount of disks. It's, it's no good to, if you want, you know, if your pool is made up of five disks and you go and buy another two disks and want to add those two disks to the existing five disk pool, it will likely not let you. You have to add them in the same groupings or similar groupings um, as your existing pool has. So in our case, we had a RAID 5, 4 plus 1, so I've got to add a minimum of five disks to my pool, okay? Next, gives me a bit of a summary of what is going on before I click on Finish, and then my Finish will then give me a, an overall uh, results based on how things went. Now in this scenario, I'm not going to click on Finish because I want to use those disks for another example, but that is really the process on how to expand a disk and how to add more disks into a sand, into a into a pool. So once that is done, you'll find that your pool, the size will have increased, your free space would have increased, and your use and subscription percentages would have also changed because they're now accommodating the additional pool size that you have expanded. So there you have it, that is my overview. I hope you found this helpful. There's definitely a lot of stuff 
that uh, you can go into on the storage device. If you want to know more, let me know. We've also got a whole bunch of other videos that talk about SAN and NASAs um, of various types and the different technologies associated with those, as well as a whole bunch of other technology videos across my Digital Bike Computing YouTube channel. Either way, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and follow me as well to keep updated on my new videos as they get released. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.